Look what I've rediscovered. That's an ornamental pomegranate. It's, what is it, Punica granatum legrelii, A-E on the end, legrelii or legrelii. I planted it there a couple of decades ago and forgot about it. Now it's rediscovered. It's only ornamental. It doesn't have fruits, not proper fruits. They turn into double flowers. Look at those bell-like flowers. Punica granatum legrelii. Legrelii. Aren't they dainty? Look, like a flamenco dancer's dress. Let's go over and have a look. Look at that, isn't it lovely? It's an older flower, it's faded. It's so lovely, it's like, it's made of crepe paper, isn't it? It will never make fruit. The one behind it, you can see. Look, that bell up there will never become a pomegranate. That one, oops, it's come off in my hand, but you can see it will never become a pomegranate. It won't. It won't ever become a pomegranate. It's just a sort of double flower affair. So if you don't want fruit fly, you won't ever get uh, pomegranates on it. Look, it's a little fairy's cap, isn't it? But anyway, an elfin's cap. Oh, I'd like a hat like that. I'd like a hat just like that. Look, isn't it wonderful? A hat pot, I mean. A little fairy's hat. Where are we? Now, back to focus anyway. Why? Have you gone out of focus? No, there you are. Look at that, isn't it wonderful? That is a Legrelii pomegranate, Legrelii pomegranate. Beautiful, beautiful. It's like a flamenco dancer's dress, isn't it? Gorgeous. And bees will go in there, I've seen them. I used to have them on my estate years ago, but I put these ones way out here because I wanted fruiting ones where I am. There's that little hat again, look. A fairy's cap. Anyway, let's look at the uh, more orange flowered ones, the fresher flowers. Not very far away either. There they are. Let's have a close up. Isn't it lovely? Show yourself. Beautiful colour, freshly opened, or more recent anyway. Lovely pomegranate blooms, and it will never have fruit. So if you just want an ornamental pomegranate, the grelii, the grelli, the grelli is better anyway. Lovely stuff, gorgeous. Quite drought resistant. I haven't watered this for decades, and. It must have survived that long 10-year drought we had. And I recall pomegranate trees can live for about 75 years. They can. Well, are they trees or shrubs or bushes? Easy to grow from cuttings and seeds anyway. I think next winter, I think next winter I'll take some cuttings of this and bring it back to the property. Because it's so lovely, isn't it? It's like a painting. It's lovely, it's so beautiful. Like a painting. A piece of artwork. That's a piece of art. It is. Yes. Most definitely. A lovely piece of art. And there's a little unopened bud. Only small. I think I should get out from under this gum tree because a branch could break and fall on me. 
I could. A huge gum tree above me. It could crash down on me, couldn't it? It could. They don't call them the widow maker for nothing. So there you have something for the dry, dry climate, drought resistant, uh, you know, low water garden, ornamental garden, ornamental cottage garden in Australia. Lovely Punica granatum lagrelli. Very drought resistant, extraordinarily drought resistant once established. And delicate flowers, like they're made of crepe paper. See ya.